Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to start fourth module functions. Please make sure you have completed all the rest three modules because we will be using all the basics concept in functions. You can see the agenda here. All the concepts will be explained with sample programs. It is always a best practice whenever we learn any topic we have to use 5w1h approach so that it is very easy to remember and recall it by saying that you can able to guess what it mean let me explain with few scenarios then we will see the code implementation in real time most of the task or functionality will be a repetitive task if you are an automation tester for every test case login and logout functionality going to be same so instead of coding it again and again we can create it as a function and reuse it then if you are a web developer some particular functionality will be used in multiple pages example such functionality or any complicated calculation as a team every page will be developed by different developer so instead of coding that logic again and again same way we can create it as a function and reuse it and the third scenario, if you are a data scientist while training the machine learning model, we want to plot the graph for all the feature comparison in a particular format. So rather than copy pasting the code again and again, same process we can follow it. Just create a function and call it whenever needed. You will literally understand this meaning when you start developing the Python codes. Hope you got answer for these five questions. Now we will see how to implement it. First we will create a sample function based on these rules. Then we will see the definition again. We are going to create a function to welcome the user. For that, the first line of the function starts with DEF. This is the keyword used to create the function. You can remember like a definition DEF space. Now we have to give the function name for this requirement we have to give a meaningful name let's be welcome user after this we have to pass the arguments or input parameter so that dynamically based on our input the output message will be displayed the arguments needs to be given within this parenthesis and few functions may have without arguments also that we will see it in the later portion of this video for time being now we will create a function with a parameter the parameter going to be name then colon def is the keyword used to create that function then function name within the parenthesis give the argument or input parameter ends with colon enter it automatically it will start follow the indentation for example if it is a java we use the curly braces here it is just one tab or four white space that is what explained here the first two line is completed now the next step is to create the doc string it will start with triple code within the triple code we have to give a brief introduction about this function it is an optional step but it is always a good coding practice this function welcomes the user for python class if anyone read this particular line they can understand what is the use of this function after this enter here we have to implement the statement or coding logic as per our requirement we have to print the welcome message dynamically based on the user print dear and concordination symbol here the dynamically whatever the value we are giving it in the input parameter it will come and concordinate to this statement and uh, i want to make sure this value is converted to string this is how we have to create the function just scrolling up you can see this is a syntax of the function and we have the return statement it is also an optional we will see it in the later of this video as per the rules we have completed all the important steps the next step is to call the function in order to call this function and print the output just copy the function name and within the parenthesis give the input value for example i am going to give input as kausik now we will execute first you have to execute the definition 
then execute the function when this piece of code executor the flow or the control went to this line then Kausik name is passed to this function as an input value then this was concordinated to the statement that's why we got dear Kausik welcome to python tutorials this is how we have to create the function and call the function the same function i'm going to reuse it again and again with multiple values leo i am executing it based on the input we got the output dear abdul dear vidya dear arafin welcome to python tutorials hope you understood the importance of the function one important note we can call this function from another function or another program or even using the python prompt that's the best part of creating your reusable code as a function one more example we will see the requirement is you have to create a function to check whether the number is even or odd you know very well if a number divided by 2 and if the remainder is equal to 0 then it is an even number if the remainder is not equal to 0 then it's an odd number the coding will be def verify even odd that's a function name i am naming it inside the argument i am passing name colon enter so it's straightforward we created the function let's call how to call this copy and paste that function and give the input value i'm giving the value to run it 2 is an even number you know it very well 5 5 is an odd number give some bigger value and run it it's an odd number so this piece of code we can use it in number of times for different input values the next topic is doc string so doc string can also be called as documentation string and it's an optional but it is a good programming practice and it is created with the help of triple quotes and you can write multiple lines also in our example i just wrote a single line but you can write even a paragraph if you want print welcome user dot underscore underscore it is double underscore doc double underscore and close the parenthesis just execute the code now you can understand this function welcomes the user for python class this is the exact description which we gave it here so same way i added code for the second function just run it now see the difference the first function with the doc string and the second function without the doc string if a third person going to review or going to use your function this small command underscore underscore doc underscore underscore will help him to understand what is the functionality or what exactly your function will do it then you can find the theory explanation and sample code in this url it will be mentioned in the video description also that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning